Let's learn how to use Edge Elastic. When you log in, here's what you'll see. The Assignments dashboard shows all current and upcoming learning tasks that your teacher or teachers have sent you. Each learning task has a title and status bar, and if your instructor added it, you'll also see a due date or close date, which will help you know when you need to finish your work. Use the buttons at the top to view all assignments, assignments you have not started, and assignments that are in progress. In the upper right-hand corner, you can toggle between classes. The big button on the right side of your screen lets you enter the assignment. Click on Start Assignment to begin the quiz, test, or lesson. Once you open the assessment, you'll see the first question. There are lots of different question types in Edge Elastic, from multiple choice to true and false or drag and drop, for example. This one is an essay response question. You can type in the box by clicking on it. You also can add bold, italics, underline, or special characters by using the buttons at the top of your text entry box. Let's talk about the navigation features at the top of your screen. You can jump to a specific question using the drop-down bar on the left. To go to the next question in the assessment, simply click Next. Or to go back to the previous question, click the back arrow. Hit the bookmark button if you want to remember to review a question before submitting your work. Let's click Next. Now, you see a multiple choice question. When working on a multiple choice question, you can cross out answers that you know aren't correct, just like you might do on a piece of paper. To do this, click the X button. If you want to or need to show your work or draw something, you can open up the scratch pad. Lastly, if you want to zoom in to make the text or question content larger, click on the magnifying glass. Once you get to the end of the assessment and have completed all questions to the best of your ability and you're ready to submit, you can click the submit button at the top of your screen where the next button used to be. This will take you to the review and submit page. Here, you can double check to make sure you answered all questions. If a box is filled in as gray, it means you skipped the question and you should review it before submitting your test. If a box is filled in as yellow, it means that you bookmarked this question. You also should double check these before submitting your test. Once you are ready to submit, click the submit button in the upper right hand corner. After you submit your assessment, you can go back to the assignments dashboard. That's it. Time to learn and show what you know on Edge Elastic.